In the bustling city of London, Ebenezer Scrooge was known for his miserly ways. Scrooge hoarded his wealth, he despised the cheer of Christmas. Bah humbug! He cared little for those less fortunate, he dismissed their pleas for help with a scoff. Scrooge was a man consumed by greed, he was a stranger to joy and generosity. On a cold Christmas Eve, Scrooge received a chilling visitation. The ghost of Christmas past appeared. It was a strange, ethereal being. Come, Ebenezer, let us revisit your past. The ghost transported Scrooge back in time. Scrooge saw himself as a young boy, lonely and forgotten. He witnessed the blossoming of his love for Belle. He saw this love wither due to his growing obsession with wealth. Remember the joy you once felt and the path you chose to abandon. The ghost of Christmas present was the next to arrive, a figure of warmth and generosity embodying the spirit of the season. This jovial spirit showed Scrooge the festive celebrations of those around him, the bustling markets, the decorated streets, and the joyous gatherings of families. Look Ebenezer and see the warmth and joy of Christmas, the love that fills these homes despite their humble means. Scrooge saw the Cratchit family, a modest household filled with love and laughter, he witnessed their meager Christmas meal, a simple feast that was made grand by their gratitude and togetherness. They were poor, yet filled with joy and gratitude, their hearts rich with the true spirit of Christmas. Scrooge saw Tiny Tim, their crippled son, a symbol of innocence and hope. God bless us, everyone. Tiny Tim's words echoed with a profound simplicity. He learned of the boy's dire fate, a future shadowed by illness and poverty. If the future remained unchanged, a grim reminder of the consequences of neglect and indifference. The ghost of Christmas present revealed the stark contrast between Scrooge's wealth and the poverty of others, a disparity that weighed heavily on Scrooge's conscience. This revelation began to stir something deep within Scrooge, a realization that perhaps he had the power to change not just his own fate, but the fate of those around him. Fear clutched at my heart as the ghost of Christmas future arrived. This specter was dark and silent. It pointed towards a bleak and desolate future. Scrooge saw himself cold and lifeless, his death unmourned. I saw the Cratchit family, devastated by Tiny Tim's passing. The future painted a chilling picture of what Scrooge's life and death would mean to the world. The spirit's visits shook Scrooge to his core. Each apparition revealed a different aspect of his life, showing him the consequences of his actions. The ghost of Christmas past took him on a journey through his earlier years, reminding him of the joy and love he once knew. The ghost of Christmas present opened his eyes to the struggles of those around him, especially the Cratchit family. Finally, the ghost of Christmas. Yet to come filled him with dread, showing a lonely and desolate future if he did not change his ways. I was horrified by the man I had become. The visions haunted me, and I could not escape the truth they revealed. I saw my greed, my cold-heartedness, and the pain I had caused others. It was a sobering realization that I had wasted so many years in selfishness and isolation. He was filled with remorse for his past actions. The weight of his misdeeds pressed heavily on his heart, and he knew he had to make amends. He spent the night reflecting on his life, vowing to change and become a better person. The transformation was not easy, but the desire to right his wrongs gave him strength. I awoke on Christmas morning a changed man. The sunlight streaming through the window felt like a new beginning. I was filled with a sense of hope and determination. I knew that I'd been given a second chance and I was not going to waste it. Scrooge rushed out to share his newfound generosity with the world. He greeted everyone he met with a warm smile and kind words. He bought gifts for children, donated food to the poor, and spread joy wherever he went. His heart, once cold and closed off, was now open and full of love. I sent a giant turkey to the Cratchit family. It was the least I could do to make up for the years of hardship they had endured because of me. Seeing their joy and gratitude filled me with a sense of fulfillment I had never known before. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. This will make our Christmas truly special. The Cratchit family's happiness was a testament to the power of kindness and generosity. It was a reminder that even the smallest acts of goodwill could have a profound impact on others. He gave generously to the poor. Scrooge's transformation was not just about grand gestures. It was about consistently showing compassion and empathy. He visited charity houses, supported local businesses, 
and made sure that no one in his community went without. I embraced the spirit of Christmas with open arms. I decorated my home, attended festive gatherings, and reconnected with family and friends. The joy of the season was no longer something I observed from a distance. It was something I actively participated in. He spent the rest of his days making amends for his past. Scrooge's commitment to change was unwavering. He became a pillar of the community, always ready to lend a helping hand. His legacy was no longer one of greed and selfishness, but of generosity and love. I brought joy to everyone I encountered. My life was transformed and in turn, I transformed the lives of those around me. The spirit of Christmas lived on in my heart every day, reminding me of the power of redemption and the importance of kindness. A Christmas Carol is a timeless story of transformation and redemption. Written by Charles Dickens, it has touched the hearts of millions since its publication in 1843. It reminds us that it is never too late to change our ways, no matter how set in our habits we may be. We can choose kindness over greed and generosity over selfishness. The story encourages us to look beyond our own needs and consider the well-being of others. We can choose love over indifference and compassion over apathy. The relationships we build and nurture are what give our lives true meaning. The story emphasizes the importance of living a meaningful life, one filled with purpose and connection. We find meaning in our connections to others, in the laughter shared with friends and the bonds formed with family. We find it in acts of generosity and kindness, in the simple yet profound gestures that show we care. As we journey through life, let us carry the spirit of Christmas with us, not just during the holiday season, but throughout the entire year. Let us strive to make the world a better, brighter place filled with joy and goodwill. Let us remember the lessons learned by Ebenezer Scrooge, who transformed from a miserly old man to a beacon of generosity and kindness. Embrace the joy of giving, for it is in giving that we receive the most profound sense of fulfillment. Celebrate the power of human connection, the warmth of a hug, and the joy of shared moments. Let kindness be your guiding star, illuminating your path and inspiring others to follow.